Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Giant Nazi Eagle On December 13, 1939, three Royal Navy cruisers had a standoff with a German ship off the coast of Uruguay. This was the closest World War II ever got to South America. Then, in 2006, a huge Nazi eagle made of bronze was found in the same area, gripping a swastika with its talons. This gigantic piece of Nazi memorabilia was originally on the stern of the Nazi battleship that got into the altercation 75 years before. After the Battle of River Plate, the ship was scuttled. This was because the Germans feared that if the British got a hold of the ship, they would steal its state-of-the-art technology. The huge eagle is made almost entirely of bronze. After its discovery, it was taken to a warehouse that was guarded by the Uruguayan Navy. The Supreme Court ruled that the company which found the eagle should get 50% of its profits should the piece be sold, though they made Uruguay the rightful owners of it. Fast forward to 2022, and the object is still a source of controversy. Experts argue that it should go to a museum instead of being put up for auction at an estimated sale price of $26 million. At the moment, the 660-pound bronze eagle and swastika has yet to be sold. Number 9. World War II Ghost Boat Over the years, much of the water in California has begun to dry up, and as a result, all kinds of strange and bizarre things have been found at the bottom of waterless lakes and rivers. At Shasta Lake, officials with the U.S. Forest Service came across a ghost boat that was used during World War II. The ship was revealed for the first time when all the water in the lake evaporated and the vessel was discovered sitting there at the bottom. The boat was found with the marking 3117 on its side, suggesting it had been assigned to the attack transport ship, the USS Monrovia, over 75 years ago. The Monrovia was the same vessel used as a headquarters for the famous General George S. Patton during the invasion of Sicily in 1943. It was also briefly used by President Eisenhower himself, and later during the D-Day invasions that took place in the Pacific. In the Pacific during World War II, there were more than 100 D-Days. But how in the world did the ghost boat get discarded in a lake in California after it became separated from its main attack vessel? That's a mystery that nobody has ever been able to solve. So far, there are two abandoned boats that have been found in California, and nobody knows how they got there. Number 8. Sunken Navy Destroyer Explorers recently discovered the wreckage of a Navy destroyer escort that fought against the Japanese fleet in World War II. The ship was part of the largest sea battle in human history, fought in the waters off the coast of the Philippines in 1944. The ship was identified as the USS Samuel B. Roberts, also known as the Sammy B. It was uncovered by American explorer Victor Vescovo, the same guy who found the USS Johnston in 2021. The Sammy B. was discovered at an unimaginable depth of 22,916 feet, broken in half on an underwater slope. The Sami B took part in the legendary battle off Samar, the deciding factor in the war against the Imperial Japanese Navy. They suffered their biggest loss of ships during this battle, and they failed to push back the U.S. forces. As a result, they were kicked out of the Philippines. The Sami B managed to disable one of the Japanese heavy cruisers with a torpedo. However, the vessel spent almost all of its ammo fighting the great Japanese battleship the Yamato, before being critically wounded by another battleship called the Congo. A total of 89 crew members lost their lives during this naval battle. In the end, the ship sank below the waves and wasn't seen again until it was finally discovered in 2022. At the moment, the site of the Sami B is currently the deepest wreck ever found. Number 7. Nazi Bombs and the Sea Monster during an air raid that took place in London during World War II, Nazi pilots dropped bombs on an incredibly rare fossil of a sea monster in May of 1941. Explosives fell on the Royal College of Surgeons, where the fossil had been kept since 1820. It was originally excavated two years prior at a site in southwest England, and it made history as the first nearly complete skeleton of an ichthyosaur. But when the bombs fell on the college, it was blasted to smithereens. 
Just recently, scientists uncovered something nobody thought would ever be seen again. They came across two forgotten plaster casts of that same destroyed skeleton, one hiding in a museum in the United States and the other one in Germany. According to Dean Lomax from the University of Manchester, it was by chance that researchers found the cast in museum vaults. There have since been plenty of other ichthyosaur fossils discovered since World War II. These creatures lived from between 250 million and 90 million years ago, and they were kind of like killer dolphins with alligator snouts. However, it was still extremely exciting to recover a prized fossil that was thought to be destroyed by the Nazis even if it's only in the form of casts. Scientists also say the fossil was likely discovered by Mary Anning, one of the world's first leading female paleontologists and fossil collectors. Number 6. Toxic Nazi Shipwreck A Nazi patrol boat was sunk by British warfighters in 1942. The John Mann was originally a fishing trawler when it was launched in 1927, but when the war broke out in 1939, the German Navy repurposed the ship and turned it into the V-1302, a patrol boat. In February of 1942, it joined a convoy participating in Operation Cerberus, a simple maneuver to push battleships and heavy cruisers from the North Sea through the English Channel to German ports. The maneuver didn't go over very well and the British bombers rained fire down on the ships. The V-1302, previously the John Mann, was destroyed and 12 crew members were killed. Although many of the vehicles were damaged during the operation, the small patrol boat was the only one that sank. It's now sitting 115 feet below the waters in the North Sea off the coast of Belgium. Technically, the ship was never really lost. It's in such shallow water that everybody knows where it is. But in 2020, a research team from the Flanders Marine Institute in Belgium analyzed samples taken from the steel hull as well as the surrounding sea floor. They learned that the ship is still leaking toxic chemicals 80 years after it originally sank. And considering this was only a tiny patrol boat, it's likely that much larger vessels from the war are also leaking toxic chemicals to this day. The only good news is that scientists say the toxicity levels are relatively harmless, and the site of the wreckage is now rich in biodiversity. It has turned into an artificial reef over the years, and is home to fish, crabs, sea anemones, and a wide variety of marine plants. Even though the whole thing is toxic, life continues to flourish. Number 5. Bomb in the Po River An extreme drought in Europe revealed an unexploded bomb from World War II tucked into the side of the River Po in Italy. A fisherman discovered the American-produced bomb in late July 2022, near the small Italian village of Borgo Virgilio. The bomb was hidden under the water and was partially covered in sand for over 70 years. But just like with the ghost boats appearing in the United States, drought revealed this lost wartime relic. Military experts were called in to deal with the bomb. According to them, it weighed almost 1,000 pounds. They had to excavate 3,000 civilians before military personnel could defuse the bomb. They then moved it to a quarry 30 miles away and detonated it under controlled circumstances. There were no injuries or damages and the whole process went very smoothly. The craziest part was that the bomb had been sitting there on the bank of the river all that time and nobody had known. If something had gone wrong and the bomb was hit by a propeller or involved in some other accident, who knows what kind of damage it could have caused? Number 4. John Doe In August of 2022, the body of a John Doe was returned home after being missing for a total of 77 years. The remains of a man now identified as Private Carl G. Dorsey were finally returned to Moline, Kansas, a small town with a population of under 350 people. Dorsey will now get the chance to be buried in a modest ceremony with his living relatives. He will also be receiving full military honors. Carl's story takes us back to the beginning of World War II. He joined the military at 18 years old and was placed in the 4th Infantry Division. He was fatally wounded while battling Germans near Grosshau in the Hertgen Forest. It was one of the bloodiest battles in the war, lasting two months in the autumn of 1944. 
Carl was originally listed as missing, although in reality he was one of the 33,000 soldiers that were killed or injured during battle. His body was discovered shortly after the combat by a German citizen, and he was buried as a John Doe. Up until his remains were officially identified and he was exhumed and returned to the United States, he was one of the 46,599 U.S. servicemen still unaccounted for from World War II. However, experts believe the unofficial number could be as high as 77,000. Number 3. Mysterious War Object on the Beach A family in Texas just discovered an extremely unusual object that washed up on the beach. They were on vacation when their trip turned into a real-life history lesson. Amanda Ward was visiting Port Aransas Beach with her family one Saturday afternoon when they came across a gigantic bundle of mystery material. They couldn't identify what they were looking at, but it looked like a rock with skin growing on it. The family began poking and prodding the curious object, which was wrapped in a tan-colored, flesh-like coating and had barnacles and clams clinging to the outside of it. When they still couldn't figure out what it was, the family posted photographs of the object online to get a public opinion. There was a lot of speculation, and many people chimed in to give their theories of what the bundle could possibly be. Some claimed it was a lost Amazon package, others said it could be a chest full of treasure. But as it turned out, the discovery was nothing but a rubber bale from a sunken German ship from World War II. This was not the first time such a mysterious object washed up on the beach, either. These bales started appearing in Texas and Florida in 2020, and before that, they were found along the beaches in Brazil. The story behind these bundles began back in January of 1944. The SS Rio Grande, a German blockade runner, was spotted by the USS Omaha off the coast of Brazil. The Rio Grande was carrying tin, cobalt, copper, and raw rubber bales. The crew of the vessel abandoned ship after they realized they were spotted. This ultimately saved their lives, since the Omaha opened fire on the ship and sank it. All these years later, giant rubber bales are still washing up on eastern shorelines. Number 2. The HMS Urge The British submarine HMS Urge was discovered by divers in 2021. It was sunk by a German mine while cruising underwater near Malta in 1942. Maritime archaeologist Timmy Gambin and other researchers from the University of Malta made two dives down to the wreckage in order to identify it as the HMS Urge. This was fairly easy to do, considering the name was etched onto its tower. Before it went missing in April of 1942, this submarine had a strong naval career. It crippled the Italian battleship Vittorio Veneto and even sank the Italian cruiser Bandenere. But after the British Admiralty ordered the submarine to regroup in Egypt, it went missing. Malta was bombarded by the German and Italian air forces, and HMS Urge never arrived in Alexandria to meet up with the rest of the warships. For a long time, nobody knew what happened to it. It was officially reported lost at sea, with 32 crew and 11 other personnel on board. The ship was initially found in 2015 by a Belgian diver off the coast of Libya, who claimed it was sunk by Italian warplanes during a secret mission. This caused a bunch of conspiracy theories to start circulating, but none of them had any merit. When the wreck was officially discovered off the coast of Malta, researchers were finally able to learn what really happened. The urge never even managed to escape the coastal waters. The vessel ended up hitting a mine and went down without a fight. Number 1. Fishing for an Engine In April 2022, the engine of an aircraft from World War II was pulled out of the water off the coast of New Jersey. A former National Guardsman was out fishing for squid in the waters of Cape May when he accidentally reeled in what may have been the engine of an F6F3 Hellcat. The squid fisherman's name is Randy Camp, and he was accompanied by the ship's captain named Jake Wiscott. They were going about business as usual when they felt something heavy stuck in their net. When they finally managed to get the mystery object into their boat, they realized they had something very special. 
Randy reached out to his contacts at the Naval Air Station Wildwood Aviation Museum, and the curator identified the engine as a Pratt & Whitney 18-cylinder R2800. Apparently, this type of engine was used by many military aircrafts during World War II, so it was difficult to identify exactly where it came from. It could have been from the Grumman F6F Hellcat, a deadly fighter used for battling the Japanese Mitsubishi A6M-0 during the war, or it may have belonged to a Northrop P61 Black Widow fighter. There is also a chance that the engine came from a Douglas DC-6, which is still used for transporting cargo to this day. But how did a random engine get stuck on the bottom of the Atlantic? This happened because Cape May was once a stronghold for the Navy during the Second World War. They had their administrative headquarters inside the Cape May Hotel. The whole area needed a strong military presence because it would have been a particularly ideal target for the German Nazis. The aircraft engine most likely got discarded off the side of a boat for whatever reason, then sat at the bottom of the ocean for 70 years. Thanks for watching! Which of these World War II discoveries did you find the most exciting? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these! See you next time! Bye!